This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, the JavaScript version of the course, and I'm on level 6, which is Patrol Buster. Remember that enemies may not yet exist. Oof, that could be deep, but okay. Wall true. Now, what's going on in our wall true loop? A wall true statement means something is going to be repeated forever. So anything in between this bracket and this bracket will be repeated forever, okay? Also, remember comments, this slash slash and this slash slash is just for humans. The computers don't read it. It doesn't even count as a line. It's just for us. Computers ignore it when we run code, all right? And now our if statement. So what's going on here? Well, our hero looks around, finds the nearest enemy, and we have them name them enemy. That's fine. We can name them whatever. I'm going to have them name them bird. Perfect. That's the new enemy's name. So whoever our hero looks around and sees, the, he names bird. If there's no one around, this is where we find that. So our hero looks around for an enemy and names bird, right? Now, if bird exists, if there is an enemy, then we want to attack. So we should add an attack statement here. And we named them, well, I named them bird now. They're no longer named enemy. And let's do that again. Hero attack, bird. All right, let's give that a shot. Bird, goodbye. Bird, goodbye. Bye bye, birdie. Eh, eh. Ooh, maybe I should call it birdie. I'm gonna change it to birdie. Ah, eh, we'll leave it as bird. Maybe birds? I don't know why I'm messing with this. All right, I think that's good. We changed it all to birds now, why not? Let's hit submit, let's see how it goes. Looking good. Success. Excellent.